Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 11. Alright, um, the previous episode we got into a whole messy situation where Deku's power went berserk for a certain time, amount of time and like we got an extremely huge information that Deku technically doesn't have one quirk. It's as if like all the quirks that his predecessors used they are also there within him, dormant. So he'll have to start using them and start controlling them. And we met one of his predecessors whose power is kind of like, uh, like you know, set of tape. Like it can like lengthen and like you know, like catch stuff uh, with, from range. And it's pretty strong in itself. Like uh, all of like you know, like we got a little bit of information from him, and he said that. Thank God, my power is the one that activated in your rage. If someone else's quirk activated, it would have been a disaster. That probably means that within Deku, there is probably one or two quirks which is pretty strong. You know, like offensively. So, like, I'm looking forward to what type of, like, you know, uh, quirks he, like, you know, has within him, dormant within him. And now, after that, obviously, the uh, match resumed. Th that moment as like you know like without any break and all like it just resumed like that and it's like an all-out brawl now and now Deku has to plan properly and use his newfound power to win and I hope he wins and uh, let's see like you know the match resumed just after that so let's see what you know how like you know what he does and will he be able to win my bet is on Deku's team is going to win let's see what happens so yeah without further ado let's get started with my hero academia season 5 episode number 11 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Yeah. Oh yeah, and Uraraka also stepped up at that moment. Hmm. Yeah, this is how his like you know quirk really saved everyone. Like you know, he was under the impression that my quirk is something like you know that is not useful and all but see like this is how you can save people and many other many other applications as well <laughs> and then they start then and there <laughs> oh god Like the the there's no plan now. Like just fight. <laughs> yeah, it's a brawl. True. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, this happened in the previous. <laughs> wow okay well let's see how deku uses his brain like i'm sure he'll make some strategy like you know like just then and there <laughs> we're almost at the end of the first part of the season and i'm guessing uh deku's match will obviously be the last match and this is episode 11 so one or two more episodes that will have like you know this section and then obviously from the next like from, from 13 or 14 episode we're going to get into a new arc i'm guessing like this arc was basically introduction of all the like you know class b characters and shinso as well like you know into in-depth 
uh, of his powers and all. So I guess in the next arc, all of these characters will be probably heavily involved. So yeah, that's why like you know they're like introducing each and every character, and they're going into like quite depth into the characters. I was thinking they're just going to like you know, uh, like go over them like like casually, but they like you know like all the characters they are like really going into their quirks and all and showing how their quirks can be utilized and all like you know in pretty depth so that's quite nice i have to say all right yeah it's okay like Isa can uh, like you know negate the quirks so yeah he can do it yeah he he's there for the emergency yeah hmm all right Yeah, everyone. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I think he's very, yeah. Okay, oh, that that's the reason. Okay. Damn, his hand is like... Well... Uh, yeah, like... He'll need her help. Not only her help, but everyone's help. Okay, I was thinking Deku was going to use his quirk, but he's not going to use it. Just as an insurance. Oh, damn. Oh! Oh, there you go! <laughs> nice! Nice! <laughs> yeah. Trampoline, haha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> okay throw him yeah throw him minute bounce <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um Okay, oh damn. Oh no. Yeah, it's in <laughs> Wow, that's a very positive way of thinking. Nice. Yeah. Oh no. Like, oh no, he just no no no, he can't do it. His his body will. He doesn't know that. Okay. Wait, what? Well, oh, he doesn't have any quirk technically, Deku. It's just, oh, maybe not. Okay, wait, wait. 
Ok. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, don't talk. Don't answer him. Okay. Damn, six years. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, definitely. Damn, Isa looks great here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh. Come on. Now what? Udar. Udar. Okay. Yeah. Okay, will he do it? Let's see. Yeah, yeah, he's doing it. Come on. Nice! Oh god, this is amazing. <laughs> uh. Yeah, All Might is also like... Okay, there you go. <laughs> Origin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Okay. <laughs> A lot of things inside his mind, you know? <laughs> okay, oh no! He still cannot properly control it. Okay, but still it saved you. Additional power. Much stronger than I, okay. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, he needs to train. Yeah, he needs to train. Okay. <sighs> Eight percent. Okay. <laughs> Make Midoriya drop priority. Okay. <laughs> She's... Five minutes. 
Five minutes. He might be bluffing. He might be bluffing. He might be bluffing. Yeah. That as well. And yeah, Shinso can be. Okay, okay, bring him in quickly. Bring him in. Okay. What? Fire? Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, okay. Like, yeah, like, Monoma can be bluffing this whole thing. Like, it can either be truth but or, or a bluff. So, like, as he said, Midoriya said that I can take care of myself. You do your own thing. Oh, damn. Woo. Okay. Oh, God, what is... Oh... Oh no. Okay, don't go unconscious. Wait, can you actually do you're disqualified, aren't you? So can you like help them like that? Like Oh but he said that it it, it remains in the battlefield. So okay. It's technically Oh my god. It's technically okay. Oh god. Okay, Uraraka is still there. She can. Mintori, wake up, wake up. Okay, there you go. Come on. Okay. Nice. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, things are things are looking okay now. Whoa! <laughs> Damn, that was that was a nice technique. <laughs> yeah, everyone's moving forward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One. He won. Ah, oh, they could steam one. <laughs> Mina. Committed to be fair. <laughs> okay, so team A one. Yeah, three, three, two, and one draw. Yes. Nice. But but it was very like you know close. Like I like that was really impressive. <laughs> mm.
Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, how to work with other teams, you know? Like as he said, his quirk is like support quirk, so he needs to work well well with the teammates. Um well it's it's a special case. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he was, oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I also thought that he was saying that. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> ah. mm. yeah Yeah. Mm, true. Yeah. What? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Yeah, true. Like, you know, you, you guys are in training, so... <laughs> mm. Ask for help. Hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay. So, yeah, uh team A1 and like as uh, Shinso said that I still need to improve like as he said that all like uh, the hero posts they are all accustomed to fighting they have fought the villains and all and like you know like even though like talent um, and at the same time uh, what do you call that uh, like, you know like practice training these are required but at the same time, experience also plays a really big role in these kind of things. So that's one thing that the hero co course got a lot, especially uh, class A, like class B also got it, like, you know, got the experience. I'm sure they also went, like, you know, fighting villains and all during the internship and all. 
like but class a got the maximum of it because they were really involved in the all of like you know the major fights that happened so like that in itself gives them a huge advantage as experience as i said is one of the biggest things that is needed alongside talent and training as well so like comparing that to shinso like shinso never got into the outside world fighting villains so this is probably the first like you know like even though this is kind of like a mock battle okay that's the end even though this is kind of like a mock battle not a real one still it's, it's still like you know uh, practical fighting and uh, that this this is probably like the first time that he actually faced something like this with his teammates like this was basically like you know one team going to capture the other team just like how heroes try to go and capture villains and take them to prison at the same time keeping themselves safe as well and their teammates safe as well so so for the first time he did really well obviously like because uh it was like in, in the first match it was basically he got like you know he had the most credit for actually making his team win so like that was really well like you know a well done job that he did and it shows that he definitely has talent and he definitely does not skip or you know uh uh, what do you call it like it does not slack off in his training those are good so now the only thing that he needs is experience and obviously he'll get it uh, as like, you know he gets involved in these kind of situations more and more these kind of mock battles and maybe actually tackling villains in the outside world now like we still don't know what's going to happen like obviously i'm sure like in the future he's definitely going to transfer to the hero course but as I said that I still am not ready, I need more time, I need more experience and more, um, you know, like I need to get more strong. So he'll probably take a little bit of time and then get more strong and then finally transfer to the hero course. Something like that. And uh, yeah, and I, one thing that I really have to, like, I have to say and that I'm really impressed is I thought, like, you know, like when this uh, art started, I thought, like, the first thing that I thought is they are probably not going to go into depth uh, with class B squirts. That did not happen. Like, you know, they went into, like, you know, like a lot of depth, uh, like, getting, getting into all the other characters' squirts as well, who people we do not know. Like, they're, they're, like, you know, every team had almost two episodes dedicated to them. Two episodes. Like, 40 minutes. That's a long time and it was enough for us to see what they're capable of what their quirks are capable of and all those stuff so like that in itself was quite impressive because i really was not expecting that i was thinking they're going to kind of like you know go like you know like kind of brush over them kind of like introduce their quirks and that's it like you know that's probably going to be it but they really like you know went into depth that's one thing that i really liked here another thing that i liked is that we saw that there was no like you know one-sided match no one-sided match um bakugo's one was a little bit one-sided but because that was because the other team underestimated bakugo's team and kind of like you know had their uh not underestimated sorry not underestimated that's a wrong thing that i'm saying they did not obviously did not underestimate them because bakugo is extremely strong they thought that bakugo won't cooperate with them and like made a notion that yeah if we go and capture like you know bakugo first we'll win something like that but that did not go that way so they had a preconceived notion which kind of backfired and that actually uh, was the reason why like you know they lost so quickly and bakugo's uh, match was very one-sided <clears throat> but like in general all the matches were quite nicely balanced especially todoroki's match that was one of the best battles i've ever seen you know especially like in my hero academia obviously because it that was one of the most balanced match and it ended in a tie like each and every character was so like you know like they, they unleashed 100 percent, even went beyond their powers and fought and like you know like that was one of the one of the most impressive battles i've ever seen and like like none of the it was one-sided everything was very well balanced and that's another thing that i really like because usually in these type of situations uh the main class or the main character's class <laughs> you know 
usually kind of dominates everything but this shows that the other like you know class b was not sitting down and like you know doing nothing they were also trading they were also improving all those stuff so like this shows that yeah they are very like you know similar they are very balanced like their power levels so all those things so yeah like it was a really uh, nice arc and every every character every character had their time to shine and they shined in their own way and yeah and okay so uh, obviously this episode this episode we see their battle uh, Shinso's group and Midoriya's group and um <clears throat> Monoma now Monoma like one thing Monoma said that was really quite <laughs> like you know uh impressive because we can see that he knows that he cannot be the main character so he as he said like i'll be the supporting character who <laughs> like you know kind of uh like you know one of the best supporting characters that can uh help the main character and uh something like that he said <laughs> and like yeah like he he realizes that he needs someone to make use of his power fully so either an ally or like you know like someone that they can like in the power that he knows it and that he can use so that's what he did and he supported you know like he supported uh like all the characters here who were actually fighting and he did a very well job and like you know even like you know almost at the end he was able to kind of um injure midoriya and midoriya would have like lost consciousness over there but obviously like he is a lot you know accustomed to these kind of ambush attacks to these kind of like you know sneak attacks so like you know his his um determination and all it kind of prevailed in the end and he was able to snap out of that situation and turn the situation around so like that was nice effort for like you know monoma like he really like you know went beyond and uh, obviously another person that we should mention here is uraraka now uraraka really showed growth in in these two episodes this episode and the previous episode because like if uraraka was not here they would have lost like like if you if you like think about it properly they would have definitely lost because obviously like the first thing that would have happened that midori won't be able to snap out of it and aiza would probably come and erase his quirk and they would be would have been either like you know like disqualified or something would have happened and like you know like they won't be able to want even if that did not happen after that what happened is like when monoma came and did the sneak attack uraraka again helped midoriya at that moment as well like you know using her martial arts now like you know what uh, when in the in the first season when we saw like uh, <coughs> uraraka actually going for his internship and uh going to i forgot his name the hero who she learned the his her martial arts from what was her what was his name it was something with gunhead or something i can't remember but like that guy you know like when he went uh, when she went and learned actual like you know martial arts and all like you know to like to restrain criminals and uh, like those type of techniques i thought that like like i i really was unable to properly like you know what can i say like his like her choice i really was not uh, like i thought that her choice was very wrong because he she could have went somewhere else and actually learned about her gravity power like you know like you can do so many things with gravity but i was i was thinking like why did she even go there like you know like martial arts you can like learn it from anywhere but these type of internships these are like uh used for your own speciality like you know is your own quirk your own special power to hone them and i thought that 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 was a wrong decision for her but now i can see like you know like now i can see that the thing that she learned is very helpful very handy in a lot of situations like like this episode and the previous episode like if she had not learned those techniques they would have lost again like first of all midoriya midoriya won't be able to dodge that like you know that uh, attack and something might have happened like you know he would have got injured it would have been a mess and in this episode as well like 
she again helps Midoriya in this episode. Uh, where is that portion? Um, when I think when Monoma comes in. Yeah. And then like she later on goes and helps her friends as well. Like you know like Mineta and um, the, who was that? I think. Uh, Did she go and help Ashido as well? I think so. Just a sec. I'm, I'm trying to find that portion. Yeah, yeah. Here it is. Like, <clears throat> like first of all, Udaraka kind of like you know chops the Portuguese uh, girl. I forgot her name. Reiko. Okay, that's her name. And then she goes to the other girl who has the power of like you know expanding things and all and restrains her to using Mineta's uh, those <laughs> those balls and Ashido taking that opportunity <coughs> excuse me uh, uh, saves uh, Mineta so like again here like her martial arts came into like you know uh, get, like was a lot like you know uh, helpful in a lot of ways and if she probably did not learn that, I don't know what would have happened here. She probably wouldn't have been able to do this. And it's nice to see like, you know, like that her choice in the previous episodes, that is like her actual choice to learn martial arts was, was very correct, you know, and um, like she can now like, you know, one, one versus one, she can fight properly. And her gravity magic would be like a support you know quirk that she can use so like obviously Uradaka gets big points for that like especially in this last match like basically like Midoriya's team won because of Uradaka and obviously Deku's contribution is also huge definitely like like in my opinion Deku is probably like you know the person who contributed not only Deku, like, you know, like, um, Deku and Uraraka, those two are the persons, uh, people who contributed the most in this uh, last match. And the others really supported them very well. So, like, props to, like, you know, like, Uraraka, because we barely get any kind of, like, you know, things with Uraraka, like, you know, her character development. This is only one, like, you know, match with Bakugo, that was it. And uh, a few other things, like, here and there. Like that's basically it. We barely get any kind of character development for Uraraka, and like it's nice to see her also getting like you know her like you know like her being the kind of like the MVP of this match in a way because she helped Midoriya and turned the whole game around. And uh, yeah, and so another thing we got to know here is uh, like so the powers the quirks now midoriya as he said that he cannot use those powers now because they are going to strain his body so he needs to perfect all for one first and then try the other quirks and like otherwise like the thing that happened here will happen he'll get tired if he suddenly uses it so that's interesting so he'll have to go step by step i was thinking like he's going to learn all the quirks at the same time like you know not at the same time but like you know like like gradually one by one but it's not like that he'll have to perfect all for one first kind of like not completely perfect but you know get really accustomed to it and then go to the other quirks one by one something like that so it will take time and uh, yeah and uh, uh, you know like we also saw how midoriya like you know the, the experience that i was talking about really shows in this episode as well where we see midoriya uh actually using um shinso's bandage against him you know he, he kind of like wraps it around his his body and kind of flings uh shinso to himself and goes there and actually restrains him like this shows like you know like he has been he has seen battles midoriya because like that's something that shinso probably wouldn't be able to do as i said the reason why experience he, he lacks that experience like fighting villains Midoriya has got to a position that now he, he can like you know like uh, use these kind of techniques like using the environment against you know like against the villain or using the villain's quirk against him 
like these kind of like you know like uh, specialized techniques he can use and he's smart so he can obviously do that like you know he's he's quick with it so yeah that's another advantage that he has and like thankfully like one like you know like uh, oh another thing monoma now monoma when he was going to use midoriya's power um like you know like the quirk did not activate so the reason why i think it's probably because like this is uh you know one for all like like only certain people who have been qualified can use it like just like we saw how like you know because it's it's a special power like it's not like the other quirks like like you know this this quirk is quite special in a way so unless and until that person is qualified he cannot he or she cannot use it so that's why i'm guessing like uh monoma's copy quirk did not work there and it failed and even if it worked it would have been probably dangerous as like midoriya like feared that as like you know all might said that if you are not accustomed to it your body will you know explode <laughs> something like that so like some like you know like thank like thankfully it did not work at that moment because otherwise it would have been a problem and i was at that moment i was saying that oh maybe it's because midoriya does not have quirk and you know he got it from all might was that the reason why uh it did not activate probably not because technically this quirk is midoriya's now like, you know it's he's no more quirkless so i i don't think that like logic kind of works here so most probably the thing that probably happened as i said is because all, like you know one for all is special you know and it only like like only one person can use it which is midoriya now so unless and until he transfers the quirk just like all might did you know it won't work so it's quite a special quirk and uh, yeah now i wonder what bakugo is thinking you know like he has kind of like you know like did not react much to everything he was kind of like, like you know quietly watching everything so like you know now that he knows that deku you know has even more <laughs> potential move i don't think he's going to act like before like you know before like if this was like the previous bakugo he would be like oh my god that guy again got like you know like uh like got more uh, like you know pop, more powerful than me like why does he get all of those things like you know like he's supposed to be like you know beneath me like that would have been the previous bakugo i doubt he's going to think like that but you know like i'm sure he's going to feel frustrated again because like he considers deku as a rival and seeing your rival <laughs> suddenly gaining so much power you know you're bound to feel a little bad yourself because again like you know you're, you're falling behind like that's like you know that feeling of falling behind like that's a bit frustrating like obviously bakugo won't stop he'll try to like you know train more gain more power after this like you know have more new techniques and try to surpass deku but like you know like this is bound to make him a little like you know conscious about the whole fact that yeah deku is getting more stronger than me again so i don't think like the the previous like you know like he's not going to act like how he did before but still like, you know a little bit you know a little bit of envy like that like that might be like, you know, he might be affected by that a little bit so yeah anyways um okay what else yeah that was nice uh that was a nice little arc and this is episode number 11 so i'm guessing the next episode will be something i don't know like something that we're going, probably going to get more information about the next arc or something and it will be like the introduction or the like you know preparation phase for the next arc and then the next arc will start or something so probably we're going to get a new opening in one or two episodes let's wait for it and uh also like you know like this 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 arc really showed how like you know teamwork like you know teamwork is essential to everything and they did a lot of like you know trainings and all and now they are perf perfectly ready for whatever you know big things is going to happen in the next arc 
so probably class B will also be involved in it. Shinso will also be involved in it. So that's why they were introduced here. And you know, and kind of like they went in depth into their powers and characteristics. And they also did the teamwork. They are very like, you know, uh, good at working together now. So yeah, they're perfectly ready. Like this is like the, <laughs> you know, like whenever in a video game, a boss battle comes, you, you kind of get more like, you know, power ups, health, like, you know, ammo and all like suddenly there's like a room, you get into the room and you find a lot of <laughs> like, you know, medicates and a lot of ammo. And then you realize that, oh my God, the next room will probably be a boss battle. <laughs> That's what happened here. We got the required buffs. We got the required, you know, power ups. So the next arc, I don't know what what's going to happen, but it's probably going to be something big. So yeah, so yeah, guys, that was it. So that was my reaction to My Hero Academia season five, episode number eleven. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out. So so yeah, I'll be back with another episode of My Hero Academia season five uh, next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.